Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my afternoon news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. GOP candidate Edwards stands by decision to walk off debate stage. Republican congressional candidate told WMUR Friday that he stands by his decision to walk out of a scheduled debate. Eddie Edwards left the debate stage he was supposed to share with primary opponent Andy Sanborn on Thursday night after Edwards refused to sign a pledge saying he'd support Sanborn if he wins the 1st Congressional District Republican Primary. The New Hampshire GOP made signing the pledge a requirement for participating in the debate. Steve Dupree, a longtime Republican National Committee man and former four-term state party chair man, said Friday he supported NHGOP Chair Man Wayne McDonald's refusal to allow Edwards to participate in the debate unless Edwards signed the Unity Pledge. Dupree has not taken sides in the primary race and is a resident of Concord, which is the second congressional district. Edwards said Sanborn who has been the subject of two workplace harassment investigations at the State House, is unfit for office. Sanborn has acknowledged that he made a crass remark, but said that no one was offended. His instance that it was a joke were backed up by the State Senate Legal Council, according to transcripts of interviews on the 2013 incident conducted earlier this year by the Attorney General's office. Edwards said he looks forward to participating in other debates. Dubry weighs in. Dupree, meanwhile, told WMUR he believes a Republican can win the first district seat if the candidates and party activists come together after the primary and unify. Dupree said Edwards' decision to walk out of the debate was his option to do, but it doesn't help you with a lot of rank-and-file people after a primary. Regarding Sanborn, Dubry said, There's no perfect candidate who doesn't have some blamage. Dubry noted that in 1992, following a bitter primary battle for the second congressional district nomination. He publicly unfiled behind the nominee, Bill Hatchett, however. Hatchett went on to lose to the then incumbent Democratic U.S. Rep. Dick Sweet. And that does it for my afternoon news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your afternoon, and I'll see you back here later on today for another report later on this evening and for the Riley King Newscast. Goodbye, everyone.